Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of discussing coding interview questions asked by the top tech companies, in this video we'll see one more important question, frequently asked question, that is Fizzbuzz question or Fizzbuzz program. And this has already been asked in the interviews of these top tech companies, even Google, Meta, Amazon. Although this is simple one, but a little bit tricky. So we'll see this question and uh, we will see this question. The answer in this question is in Java language, right? So let me tell you, what is this question? You have to print numbers from 1 to n. n user will enter from like 1 to 5 or 1 to 15 or 1 to 10. But rather than printing simple numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like this, they have added, they have added few conditions. So if the number is multiple of 3, print fizz rather than the number. Multiple of 5, then print buzz rather than the number. If the number is multiple of both 3 and 5, then print fizz buzz. Otherwise, print number. Like suppose I want to print number from 1 to 5. Here n is 5. So what output you should get? 1, 2, here fizz, then, then 4 and then buzz. Something like this you have to, something, this kind of output you should get. Right? I hope you get this thing. Now you can pause the video and try this out have to apply these conditions right now before proceeding to the answer let me just tell you if you want to master java and data structure and algorithm then you can enroll in my data structure and algorithm with the java course which has already been started but if you you enroll now then you will get recording of all the previous lectures all the quiz assignment notes ppts you can download the notes and ppts and you can read what i'll be covering in that course is complete java language first right and then data structure and algorithm so basically you are getting two courses at the price of one and uh, there is a seven days refund policy as well so you can check out for that now there in this course we will see many these kind of exercises placement questions asked in top tech companies almost 200 plus placement questions but apart from that we will be discussing some projects as well two projects we have already covered basic projects Right. So many projects we will discuss plus case studies also we will discuss. Right. So if you are interested, you can go and check out the link is in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment. Right. Now let's discuss the logic. How to print this? I think this is you are thinking that it's very simple. And yeah, it's very simple. You're right. But a little bit tricky. Suppose user has entered five. So simply you have to use if else. So first if let's suppose in first if you say one there is a for loop because you have to check if n is 5 then you have to check 1 2 3 4 5 all the numbers multiple of 3 multiple of 5 or multiple of both right so loop will continue from 1 to 5 so loop would be from 1 to 5 i'm not writing the correct syntax here we will discuss on our laptop don't worry and within this loop just write down conditions suppose first condition you write if whatever the i i variable we are taking here so i is mode 3 equal to equal to 0 modulo operator we will use modulo operator will give you the remainder and the remainder is 0 then we know that that number is completely divisible by 3 if there is a number 3 mode 3 modulo will get give remainder but if you divide 3 by 3 then remainder would be 0 Means we can say that this 3 is completely divisible by 3 or it's multiple of 3. Right? Then simply print fizz. Else, if this number is this number mode 5 equal to equal to 0, print buzz. Then else if if this number i mode 3 equal to equal to 0 and i mode 5 equal to equal to 0. Then print fizz buzz. Else simply print i these three condition you have to write but here the ordering matters so for now you just pause the video and try this out so we are in our id intellij idea and let's create a new java file here the name i'm taking fizzbuzz program and simply the main this is shortcut just write psvm click enter and it will give you the complete thing this is the beauty of IDE basically. So we'll take input from user, the n value. How to take input from user in Java? We use generally scanner class. 
there are more than one method also using console also we can take many methods two to three methods using buffer reader also we can take but the most popular is scanner so create the scanner object scanner is a class in the library right and how to create object of this class just name of the class and the name of the object this name you can take anything a b c x y z but recommendation is whatever the class name we take the same name but class name s is capital and object name is with small s so that's make it the difference is equal to a new keyword and the class name and within this you have to pass from where you are taking the input system dot in standard input we are taking input from keyboard so that's the main thing system dot in and this scanner class is in this package java dot util so first you have to include import that package otherwise it will give error but in ide i have done some setting so that's why whenever i use scanner automatically this package would be imported i don't need to explicitly import this package right but one more package is there import java dot lang dot star so everything whatever you write is in this package like java dot lang but you don't have to explicitly import this package because it is implicitly automatically imported when you write a program so if you don't write this thing that also work but if you want to write this package you can write okay so we have created the object and now using object we will take let's take a variable int n the name of object is scanner dot we have many methods so if you want to take input as an int so we have a method next int select this semicolon so we will we are going to take input using scanner and it will store that int into this variable n right so let's take uh, first let's print a simple line enter the value of n and then take input now what we do just loop would be from 1 to i less than equal to n and i plus plus because we will check from 1 till the number you have given right now what you have to check suppose if you write first condition if the i whatever i the number is mode 3 equal to equal to 0 then what should it print fizz so let's write down here fizz else if this number i mode 5 equal to equal to 0 means it's completely divisible by 5 then it should print buzz rather than the number else if this number mode 3 equal to equal to 0 and logical and number percentage mode 5 equal to equal to 0 then simply print fizz buzz we have done all the condition else simply print the number that's it so i guess you are thinking it's the simple one right and what is the tricky thing here so let me show you let's run this enter the value of n let's enter 5 So one two fizz four buzz. Yeah, you are getting correct output. Suppose uh, n is ten. One two fizz four buzz fizz. Okay, you are getting correct output. But now this, if if I if I write here fifteen. Let's run this. So we know fifteen is what multiple of both three and five, right? So rather than fifteen, it should print fizz buzz. but it is printing only fizz so your logic is not correct you have done something wrong and what you have done is see id you are giving some suggestion see the line here the yellow line when you hover the cursor on this line then it will show you that this condition is always false because see if the number is 15 suppose you have entered here n is equal to 15 so first i is one condition true it will enter here it will check One mode three equal to equal to zero. No, is this condition true? No, is this condition true? No. Else it will print only one, like this. Then i plus plus i becomes two. This condition still true? Yes. So again it will check all the three condition. No condition is true. Then it will just print two. Now n becomes three. Sorry, i becomes now three i plus plus. This condition is true. Now enter again. 
So three mode three equal to equal to zero. Yes. Now this condition is true. So it will enter. The control will enter into this block. It will print fizz. And after printing fizz, it will the control will be out from this else if ladder completely. So out of this, then it will give to I plus plus. Now it becomes four, then five, then six like this. Now once I becomes fifteen, so fifteen less than equal to fifteen because n is fifteen. Yes, condition true. So we will enter here. Now is fifteen mode three. What you will get? Remainder zero because it is divisible by three. So this condition is true. So it will enter in this. It will not check this condition and completely print fizz and it will be out from this loop. And then I become sixteen. This condition is not true. Then out from the for loop. So this condition will never be reached if you write this condition here or after this here. So to check because a number which is a both multiple of uh, three and five, then definitely this condition will always be true. And before this condition, if you check this condition or this condition, then if suppose rather than i percentage three, you write this condition first, i percentage five equal to equal to zero, then at place of fifteen it will print buzz only because this condition is always true. It will never reach to this condition. So this is the tricky thing here. You have to test this condition at the very first. Here, if this, then print fizzbuzz. Then check for other conditions. Here, suppose I'm checking i percentage three equal to equal to zero. Then you have to print fizz. These two condition you can check either this here or this here. Doesn't matter. But this condition have to be checked at first. So right now, from one to fifteen, if i is fifteen, this condition is true. So we will enter here. Is fifteen divisible by three? Yes. Fifteen divisible by five? Yes. Means both these conditions are true. Means it will give you true. So it will enter here and it will print fizz buzz. Right. Let's run this. I hope you got this. Why we are writing this condition? Why the ordering of these conditions are essential? In this case, see rather than fifteen, it is printing fizz buzz. Everything is correct. Rest of the thing, right? Just you have to change the ordering. That's it. So you can just dry run this program, and then you will get this. Write down this on a piece of paper. Dry run this. Be your compiler or be the JVM, and then dry run this at your hand. Means with your hand only. No need to run here. Then you will get exact working of this program. Right, and if you want to debug, then also you can debug. Set some breakpoints. Like here, I want to set a uh, set a breakpoint. Then at for loop, then here, then this condition, then this condition, and then this condition, and completely just right click and debug this program. So this will also show you how this debugging is going on. The control is here because first breakpoint is here. Okay. So at the console, it is asking me to enter the value of n this line. So let's just enter here five. And when to run this program? Now you have to click this step over to run to execute the next line. Step over. Now control is here only at this line. N is equal to five, right? So let's step over. Now control is here only. So this condition is see false. Let's step over. Second condition would be checked. This is also false. Step over. This is also false. Step over. Now it will print on the console one. Step over and it will print one. See the output. And again, control is in the for loop, so I plus plus would be done. Okay. If you step over, then see the I becomes two now. So like this, you can debug this, and you can check with the step over, step over, step over, right? So once you get all the numbers here, the output correct output. See. So I hope you got this program. If you want me to upload more such kind of videos, and if you want me to upload on a specific question, then you can just let me know in comment section. Right. So that's it for this video now. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.